The human body is an incredible and complicated machine. It relies on lots of different systems to keep it going. And although each system has a different job, they come together and work as a team. However, sometimes these systems can go a little wrong. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a disease that happens when two of the body's systems, the immune system and the nervous system, don't work together like they should. Let's take a closer look and find out why. The immune system is the body's defender. Our bodies are full of cells, the building blocks of every living thing, and each cell has a specific job. The cells of our immune system constantly patrol our bodies. They keep an eye out for anything that shouldn't be there, like bad bacteria or viruses. If these immune cells see an invader, they'll surround it and try to get rid of it. The nervous system is the body's control center. It consists of body parts like the brain and the spinal cord, together with a large network of nerves. Nerves carry important messages between our brain and the rest of our body. They help us move, feel and react. Every nerve has a long tail called an axon. Axons are covered in a fatty coat called a myelin sheath. Usually, this helps speed messages along. But in people with MS, the immune system attacks the myelin sheath by mistake and messages slow down or get lost. This can cause different problems in different parts of the body. For example, a person with MS may have blurry vision and feel tired. They might also have a tingling feeling, like pins and needles, in their hands or feet, and they might have trouble concentrating. These problems don't always happen to everyone with MS every day, because MS can be very different in different people. Sometimes MS symptoms can get worse over time, and many children and teens with MS have flare-ups, which is when symptoms get worse, but then get better again. We call this Relapsing Remitting MS, or RRMS for short. Your doctor will regularly check how you're doing with different tests. One of these tests is called an MRI and uses a machine to look at your entire body. This helps the doctor see what's going on inside of you. Although different medicines for MS exist, Doctors and researchers need to look carefully at how some of these drugs might affect children and teens differently compared with adults. Children and teens, like you. If you and your family need support or advice about MS, there are groups all over the world that can help you. For example, you can contact the MS International Federation online to find an organization in your country. We hope this animation has helped you understand MS better. Thanks for watching.